today we're going to be working on Psalm 134. And traditionally, we use this for faith in a higher power. When we, we feel like we have nowhere to turn, many times we think that our own power is the only thing that we can rely on. And then we get into trouble because we don't know what what the best thing to do is. So this is a great psalm to work. It's a very, very short psalm. So we can get a lot done in, in a very short period of time. The way we work these psalm spells is extremely simple and powerful. We read through the psalm once out loud without stopping. And this is known as an incantation. And then we go back through, after we finish with the incantation, we go back through the same psalm again, and we look through the psalm word by word, line by line, verse by verse, trying to find inner meanings behind each of those words. And through that searching process and then contemplating those inner meanings, we are taking those as thought seeds and planting them deep in our mind where they take root and they grow and they bear fruit after their kind. And these psalms are packed with infinite amounts of magical seeds for our use. And no one's ever been able to uncover all of them. I don't think that that's ever going to happen. It's just infinite. The way that we uh, have to remember that these psalms work is by a, through a deep conditioning of our minds. And so for that reason, if you have an issue or a problem or a goal that you're coming to psalm magic for, it's necessary for you to come back to that psalm every single day until you start seeing movement in the right direction according to what your goal or your objective is. So here we go with Psalm 134. Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord that made heaven and earth bless thee out of Zion. That's it. <laughs> One of the shortest ones. It's three verses, but there's so much in there. So let's get it going here. We'll work the magic on this. Again, our objective is, is finding faith in a higher power that has all power to heal and correct any situation in our lives. So it starts out with, Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord. Now, this is one of those psalms that doesn't uh, address the Lord specifically. We are blessing here, we are addressing here all ye servants of the Lord. Okay, so what's a servant of the Lord? Well, for us in magic, a servant of the Lord is all of our thought forms which the Lord gave us. So what I mean is this, when we are created, we are created in the moment. It didn't happen sometime back in time. We are created every moment through the power of infinite love, and that's who the Lord is. The Lord is the life principle itself. It's it's the it's perfect love. And when we are created, we are created with everything. God gave us everything. So let's just say that we let's just call it something that happened in time because it's easier for us to conceive that. So when we were created, God gave us everything. We were nothing was left out. We we, we nothing was withheld. And so, all, all that we need for absolute perfect success, peace, joy, happiness, prosperity, everything that we could possibly need or want in order to be here to have the, the divine life that, that we were meant to have was given us at our creation. So, that includes thought forms, thought forms. So, God's thought forms are the the only thought forms that we want to keep and those are the servants of the lord okay so that's what we mean when we say the servants of the lord behold bless ye the lord all ye servants of the lord by which stand excuse me by which night stand in the house of the lord so when you stand in the house of the lord at night these are those these are those thought forms that that know that all is well even in the midst of darkness, that know that light is present even when we can't see it. So in in the in the universal, I'm sorry, excuse me, in the physical world, in the in the three-dimensional world, we have time. We have past, present, and future, which means that sometimes we have to wait. 
for things to work out the way we want them to. Even though in in reality, nothing takes time, and it, all of our problems already have been solved. So there's nothing for us to do except for accept that. But in three dimensional reality, sometimes we have to wait in order to see with our physical eyes and experience with our physical bodies the manifestation of that which we are working, for which we are working. And so that's what we mean by by which night stand in the house of the Lord. These thought forms know all is well. They stand in the house of the Lord even in the night, even when we can't see it with our mind's eye. So we already have those thought forms installed within us. We already have this faith in a higher power that is already installed within us. We don't have to do anything to get more faith. We already have all of it. We just have other thought forms that are standing in the way of our faith that God did not give us, that we created for ourselves. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. So now your hands represent your ability to do, your ability to to make, your ability to will. So if your hands are lifted up in the sanctuary of the Lord, that means that you are giving your hands over to a higher power to do through you that which it wills, rather than you doing what you want. And, and then asking God to make it work for you. Do you see the difference? So when you have your hands up in the sanctuary, it's not just an, it's not just a gesture of praise. This is giving you a formula for how to get yourself out of trouble. So when you have when you don't have faith in a higher power and you need faith in a higher power, it's usually because you're in trouble. There's something wrong that needs your assistance or there's something that you greatly desire or need that needs your that needs your attention. And so that's when you come to a psalm like this, just get faith in a higher power. And it's telling you what you need is to take all of your doing and give it to God so that it can be done through you instead of you doing it for yourself. So that's lift up your hands in the sanctuary. The sanctuary is that part of your mind which is already one with God. It's the part of your mind that God created, right? The part of your mind that's not one with God is the part of your mind that you made up. And so that part of your mind doesn't really even exist. It's just something that you're play acting at. It's it's a fantasy. It's a it's an illusion that you're experiencing. And you have a whole world built on that illusion. And so when you get miraculous occurrings, it's not that something supernatural is happening. It's something very natural is happening, and that is that you are turning your uh your your attention back to a higher power to do through you what it would will, rather than you do for yourself what you would will. The Lord that made heaven and earth, bless thee out of Zion. Okay, so the Lord made heaven and earth. The manifestations on earth of God are are heaven on earth. So heaven and earth, earth is supposed to reflect heaven. Heaven is not a place. Heaven is not a um, is not a place you go after you die. Okay, heaven exists in the present moment, and heaven is the realm of perfect ideas, where everything is eternally perfect. That there is only perfection, and so the physical world is supposed to reflect that. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But the reason why it can't, it doesn't reflect that is because of us, not because of God. It's because we're using our creative powers to, to create a, a, a reality that is different than what God would have us experience. And a lot of times we are don't want faith in a higher power because we're afraid that that would mean that that God's going to take away things from us. Well, sometimes that's true because God only wants to take away from you that which is hurting you. So a lot of the things that you think are so important um, to you are actually hurting you. Imagine a baby with a with a switchblade or a baby with a razor blade. The first thing you're going to do is say, I'm going to get that, 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 that razor blade away from that baby before he hurts himself, right? And make sure that, the, that he doesn't have access to that again. Well, the baby's going to get so upset because it wants its shiny thing. It doesn't know 
that it's going to hurt him. It's sort of similar to, to, to you and your problems. A lot of these things that you really think you want are actually very harmful. So when you are asking for a higher power to do its will through you, you have to be willing for some things to, to change and you want things to change. Otherwise, what's the point? And, and what you come to realize is that the things that change means that, that you're only getting what you really want and not the things that hurt you anymore. And that faith in a higher power is something that, that, that enables that to happen, but it's also the reason why people avoid it, because they know things are going to change, and they're not quite done with their misery yet. They're just not quite done with it, and they're not honest about it. And, and so, if that's the case for you, use this psalm and just say, I don't want this anymore. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what I think I need. I don't care what I think I want. I just want God's will because I trust in this higher power to do for me what I cannot do for myself and to give to me the things that I cannot give to myself. And only those things are going to make me happy. Only those things are going to bring me success. Only those things are going to bring me joy. And the rest of it that I'm, that I'm conjuring up myself is the source of my misery. All right? So, that's what we mean. Uh, and then, bless thee out of Zion. Bless thee out of Zion. So, Zion is, the, um, is that exalted place within us. Where, where God has 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 placed us and that is that where we where we commune with God and God communes with us so w- when when we are blessed out of Zion that means that from Zion out of Zion out of that place is is beamed all will and so all will that is beamed out of Zion onto the earth s- makes that the earth meaning our manifest reality starts to reflect that rather than all this other stuff that we're creating. And so that's that's a, a, a small, tiny, itty bitty little psalm that you can see that this that that, that, it, that it's it packs a punch, doesn't it? Just a huge amount of magic available for you right there in this little psalm. So keep coming back to the psalm again and again, and you will find that faith in the higher power, and that you will realize that that higher power then has all dominion, and that's exactly what you want. Thank you so much for being with me today. I can't wait to work with you again. And until that time, blessed be. Thank you.